Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. We'll start. <laughs> Hi everyone. It's Nona Grace. What'd you say? I said yes. <laughs> Hi everyone. It's Nona Grace. And I'm from Western New York. Today I brought my trusty notebook in because I had lots to tell you. First of all, before I go anywhere with this, I want to mention this because I don't want to forget. I had talked to Bob from Mountain Crest Farms. I just, in fact, I just got off the phone with him just a few minutes ago. And he would like you all to know that he is doing better, much better. He sounded better, but he's still in the hospital. And uh, he appreciates the prayers that everyone is sending and the thoughts that you're keeping him in, his, in your thoughts. And he could use more. That's what we want. We want more. More. I want to get him back home and yeah. back online. Back online. I'm looking for a video is what I'm looking for. <laughs> and until he gets home, he can't really do any. And so let's keep him in our thoughts and our prayers and let's get him home and back online. Now I want to talk about um, Rosie. She's my little hen that was um, my I am Simani. My brother-in-law, I was talking to him today. He's the one that had the, the mm. two that he had bought. Or not my brother-in-law. Brother oh, good grief. My son-in-law. <laughs> 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 See how I mess up? Good thing Jim's here to catch that. It was my son-in-law <laughs> who had the oh, good grief. They had these um, I am Simani birds and he was saying that if I have a, a full bred one I've got a pretty expensive bird because he said he paid $80 and Jessica goes I thought you said you paid 40 he goes well that's what I tell you but he paid $80 per bird which is crazy and then he wanted to know does mine if it's all black and if it's toenails are black well I looked at its toenails today I'm disappointed a little. It's got a white toenail on each foot. The darn little bird's not a not a purebred. Purebred. It's a half breed <laughs> or yeah. something. I don't know. But what it, they would call a sex link. Yeah. So it's got two little toenails, one on each foot, that are white. So there is something white on it. I. Oh, I was watching. Wait, 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 no, that's <laughs> Gloria, Gloria. Who's Gloria? Gloria! I don't was know. Was she the girl with the... Uh... No, no, that was... No. That was, um... Cleaning? Okay. No. That was Lauren. <laughs> Who the heck's Gloria? Let's see. Gloria mentioned that my... Crocheter? Too nice. Oh! No, 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 no. I remember <laughs> Gloria. Oh! <laughs> I can't even read my own writing. Okay. Gloria. <laughs> Hi, Gloria. I do know who you are. <laughs> this is so sad. Um, well, she mentioned, because yesterday's video, I was shoveling in, she thought, was clothes that were too nice for doing that kind of work. Well, and I had mentioned to her that I really, I, those are my clothes that I wear all the time. I, I have gone to where I just wear my school clothes, the clothes that I used to wear to school. Are now my play clothes and if I want to go somewhere then I will put on um, a nice dress or a skirt and I have really nice slacks and tops that I would wear just to go out out but these are the clothes this is a shirt from school <laughs> I wear I wear my school clothes even though I'm not in school I don't have any of my other stuff that I used to wear I must have gotten rid of a lot of it or gave it to the kids. The kids have taken it and they've worn it and then when they wear something I say you can take it home and they take it home and so I really I, it's my school clothes that I'm wearing so if I look like I'm dressed up I'm really not dressed up. Which used to be school used to be work. Yes but now it's not now now I'm home and I have all these clothes that I wore to school and I just wear them at home. Except for the good, good, good stuff that I wear if we go somewhere, which we don't go anywhere. <laughs> Especially now. Um, oh, I got to go to a drive-thru bank today. 
I, my first time through, my daughter, I went with my daughter. She wanted to go shopping. She came by because she has gone back to work and her arm, she wanted, she wanted to know if I had any um, Advil or something or some kind of medicine of some ibuprofen or something because her shoulder was killing her. She she went back to work and, and she did some shoveling and she did other stuff along with her work work. And you get with your arms up like this and turning hair and cutting, you get bursitis in your shoulder. So she's got one shoulder that was giving her a hard time and she said she was going to go shopping. And I said, gee, do you mind if I go with you? So I went shopping with her and she had to, to do a deposit also with the, the money that she's been making with the beauty shop. And she goes to the drive through So I got to see, and you know, the cylinder that they've got, it looks like the top would open, but the top doesn't open. It's got like a clamp on the side. So I said, oh, so that's how it opens. And then she said, yeah, and if you're making just a deposit, you don't have to do anything else. You just put it in there, put it in the thing, the, push the button, and it goes whoosh, up the tube. <laughs> and then you wait. And then a few minutes later, the lady says, thank you. And the tube comes back down, the door, little door opens and you take your receipt. And so that's what I did today. I went to, I went to the drive through I got to be a passenger and see it because I've never been in the drive through at a bank. I've never used it. I always go in. I'm going to put a little video in right here because I'm going to forget if I don't put it in now here and it's going to have one's going to be about a spider one's going to be about the garden one's going to be about the um what was it going to be about i forgot hmm. the sink oh the sink yeah i i did some cleaning <laughs> the cleaning lady came today um and the the i'll tell you about the cleaning after the video but you're, you'll see a little bit of the cleaning and I don't know what else you're going to see, but there's a few little clips in there. Just hang in there and enjoy, and I'll talk to you in a minute. I was pulling weeds, and then I saw this. Oh, it's a big spider with a, with a spider um, egg sac on it. One. Oh, my stars. All the spiders in here. Where are you going? You're hiding. There it is, moving along. Ugh. Spiders are not my favorite little thing. That's one bug that I don't care to touch. Well, we'll check the box. Nobody's home. Let's see what we can see today. Oh, they look a little furrier. More feathers on them today. They're all sleeping. Sleeping babies. They're getting that bluish hue. Jane was wondering if I was going to plant a garden this year. Well, here's the potatoes that I planted. They're coming up. And yes, we did a small garden. We planted peppers, hot peppers and sweet peppers. Some of the plants are laying down. This one, this one is one of those sad ones. It's dead at the stem. That one's not going to survive. And my radishes, of course, they're really tight, but I, you know, I just sprinkled in the seed. The seed was an old seed, and I sprinkled it in to see whether it was actually going to grow. And it grew, which was surprising. But I'll, I'll be thinning it out as I use them so they'll have room to expand. Jane had also asked where the wood chips had gone. Well, I put them in this dome thing, and the chickens all seem to love being under it and on it. They dig and they scratch, and then I, I rake them back in. I watched Lauren today, and she was cleaning under her sink. I need to clean under my sink. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean it out, see what it looks like before, and I'll show you the after. This is my kitchen sink. This is what's been in was in the cupboard and it's not all going back in and there's the nice empty space but I don't have I don't have a pretty um, floor liner thing like like Lauren had so I'm just gonna leave it with the wood it was vacuumed this is the end 
of the sink. It just has a few things in there. I took a lot of stuff out of there. I didn't buy anything. I didn't buy any containers. Like she had some really pretty containers that she used. But this is how you make do with what you have. And this is my garbage container. That's why I have that there. That, that I put my coffee grounds in and then it goes on to the compost pile. And my waste basket, of course, takes up a lot of space. I am back to talk to you. That minute is up for me. I don't know what was in it. I still don't know what was in it. But I was watching Pamela's Adoring Crochet yesterday and today. I watch her every day, actually. Every video that comes along, I watch. And today she was talking about um, a girl named Lauren Yarborough. And she's been real inspired by her because she does a lot of cleaning. She does cooking. She does, uh, there's a lot of stuff she does. And she's a young girl. She's very, very energetic. Well, anyways, I thought, well, I will check her out. So I put her on. And she's cleaning underneath her kitchen sink. And I'm thinking, gosh, her chicken sink, kitchen sink looked pretty bad before she began. And it looks really good now. Maybe I should clean mine. So guess what I did? I went and I cleaned under my kitchen sink, as you saw in the little video. There was a little video of that. I don't have the nice um, shelf liner thing that she had, but it looks a lot better. I took a lot of stuff out of it, and that'll go to the dump and to the recycling bin because there was stuff in there that really didn't need to be in there. And I also want to mention that if you get the uh, magazine, the Crochet World magazine, I want you to know that Pamela's Adoring Crochet was, um, she got a, a pattern published. Her name in that catalog, in that magazine, if you look in the magazine, you'll see the different um, people that have patterns that are in that magazine. And um, hers is number 10, and it's the Fast, Easy, Fun, and her name is Pamela Bar Barton, I think it is. I'm pretty sure. Barton. Yeah. And it's um, Soup Bowl Cozy. Oh, gosh, I hope I didn't mess up your name. But it's number 10. And it's Pamela's Adoring Crochet is the one that um, wrote the pattern. And, oh, I know what else was in that video. There was the bluebirds. <laughs> I just saw that I had bluebirds there. And, and the garden, I think I mentioned that. Um, and the reason the garden was in there is Jane had asked me if I was doing a garden this year. Well, I... I am doing a garden, but we're only planting hot peppers and sweet peppers, basically, because that's what I I lack. I have other stuff in the freezer that I don't need anything. I don't need any eggplants, and I don't need any, I don't need any vegetables of any kind. I did plant some radishes, and I just dumped the seeds in, because they were old radish seeds, and I didn't know whether they would grow or not. Well, they grew... And they're a little clustered, a little tight, but that's okay, because I'm glad that they grew. I was, I was talking to my daughter as we were driving, and I said, you know, this is crazy in our area, because we have, we don't know anyone that has been sick from this green, or blue booger. Mm. Yeah, it's blue. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know anybody. And she said that even with the people that she's been doing the hair, she doesn't know of anybody either. And there was one lady whose husband had died. And on the death certificate, it stated that he had died with complications from the blue booger. And she says, how can that be on his death certificate? He wasn't even tested for this. So she had them do a post-mortem. Post -mortem. Um, test on him for the blue booger and it came back negative so they took it off of his death certificate he died of heart failure is what he died from he didn't die from anything else but she said I wonder how many others are being diagnosed as having the blue booger when they didn't and um, had she had she not um, questioned the death certificate 
and just let it go, that would have stayed on his certificate, and he didn't even have it. So that was that was what I was wondering. I was like, I've never tested in postmortem testing, and how many? It makes you wonder how many others are being marked wrong. Well, I guess that's it for today. Ended on the sad note, I guess. We could put a happy note in there, but I don't have a happy <laughs> note. Um, so we'll just talk to you all again tomorrow. My battery is blinking at me. Maybe that's the happy note. It's time to change the battery. I will do that. So I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. So bye-bye.